The Collector of Hogwarts. Chapter 1. My name is Kalefoss Lee, formerly known as Lee Kai, and I live in a house in the suburbs of London. Next door to my house lives the Granger family. When I learned that Mr. Granger's daughter is called Hermione Jane Granger, I only then did I realize that I might be in a wizarding world. Oh. Considering that my mood swings often trigger supernatural phenomena, maybe the word, maybe, should be removed, I have really traveled to a wizarding world. Today is the 11th year that I have traveled to the wizarding world. Just yesterday, July 14, 1991, I celebrated my 11th birthday. And during these 11 years, I have spent every moment expecting two things to happen. The first thing I'm looking forward to is that my time traveler, Goldfinger, will appear soon, and the second thing I'm looking forward to is receiving the admission notice from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, the beginning of a turning point in my destiny. Time. Surprisingly, two things I was looking forward to happened at the same time today. The western suburbs of the foggy city, number 33, St. Malo neighborhood. The doorbell rang suddenly, and Lee Kai, who was lying on the sofa reading a novel, calmly got up and opened the door. Hi. Good morning Kyle. Good morning, Hermione. Lee Kai replied with a smile. Allow me to introduce you to a lady who has something to say to you. Hermione said excitedly, the lady next to me, she comes from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. She is a great witch. You can call her Professor McGonagall. Oh, I know that whether it is a wizarding school or a witch, listen it sounds unbelievable, but you have to believe that I didn't mean to joke with you. Lee Kai followed Hermione's guidance and looked at the tall lady standing aside. She wore square glasses, curly black hair tied into a high bun, and a dark green robe. There was a smile on her lips, and her overall expression was a bit serious, all in all, she was really no different from Professor McGonagall in her memory. Her eyes were very deep, and she was staring at Lee Kai for careful observation, as if she wanted to see through this little boy with black hair black eyes, and a delicate face. Kilthos Lee. You were born on July 14, 1980. I heard from Mrs. Granger that you have been living under the care of Ms. Anserius since you were three years old. Is this true? Professor McGonagall asked seriously, as if to confirm something. Lee Kai shrugged and said casually, Yes, when I was three years old, my parents died in a car accident. It was Grandma Annie who never left me and has been taking care of me until now. As a time traveler, Lee Kai could not escape the fate of becoming an orphan. If there hadn't been a kind-hearted old nanny at home when his parents died, he might have had no choice but to spend his childhood in an orphanage like many time travelers. Oh, what a poor child. Professor McGonagall said pitifully, I'm sorry, I shouldn't mention these past events, but I have to confirm your identity. You don't need to be like this, ma'am, I'm used to it. Lee Kai understands Professor McGonagall very well, because the pen of acceptance in the book of admission will only give the name and birthday of the young wizard, and other information needs to be confirmed by Hogwarts employees in person. At this time, Lee Kai had already guessed Professor McGonagall's intention. He couldn't wait to get the admission letter and had no intention of talking about ordinary things. Professor McGonagall praised, what a strong and good boy. Perhaps this letter is Merlin's compensation for you. She said, handing Lee Kai a letter with a wax seal, a shield, and a capital, H, surrounded by a lion, an eagle, a badger, and a snake. The front of the envelope reads, City of London, 33, St. Malo Street. Mr. Kalthos Lee received. Opening the envelope and taking out the letter paper, Lee Kai pretended to be confused and read. Headmaster, Albus Dumbledore. Dear Mr. Lee, we are pleased to inform you that you have been admitted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Attached is a list of required books and equipment. The semester is scheduled to begin on September 1st. We will be waiting for your all to bring your reply before July 31st. Vice Chancellor. Sincerely, Minerva McGonagall. At this time, Hermione, who had been quiet for a while, suddenly said in a show-off manner, Kyle, you may not know that there is magic in this world. You and I are both wizards. School starts on September 1st. Then we can go to school together. That day is really exciting. Oh, by the way, we also have to buy some school supplies. Did you see the list? It's on the second page of the letter. I didn't hear a lot of it. Said. 
But Li Kai didn't seem to hear these words, because his attention was attracted by a strange voice. Ding. The big collector system is successfully bound. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, Hogwarts admission notice, and a drop of, demon blood, as a reward. All rewards are temporarily stored in the system space, and you can obtain the corresponding items by withdrawing them silently. The great collector system. Is this my gold finger? In Li Kai's mind, the effects and uses of the demon's blood automatically emerged. Taking the blood of the devil can greatly increase magic power, making it easier for wizards to comprehend various magics. At this time, Li Kai desperately wanted to take the demon's blood, but he knew that it was not the time yet, so he could only entertain Professor McGonagall patiently. So, Mr. Li, are you ready? Professor McGonagall asked. What are you preparing for? Li Kai was a little confused. He was distracted because he was looking at the system rewards, so that he didn't pay attention to what Professor McGonagall was saying just now. Sorry, I am full of expectations for the magical world, so I can't help but immerse myself in fantasy. Please forgive me for being rude. Mr. Lee, actually you don't need to blame yourself. Professor McGonagall was a little helpless, because this happens to many young wizards of muggle origin, and I'm used to it. Lee Kai understood this and said with emotion, it seems that being a professor at Hogwarts must be very hard. Professor McGonagall denied, it's actually not as hard as you think. After all, Hogwarts can only recruit dozens of new students every year, and most of them come from pure blood or mixed race families. People like you who are born in muggle families there aren't many little wizards. Lee Kai thought about it carefully, and it seemed that the number of new students admitted to Hogwarts every year was indeed pitiful. There are probably less than 40 in this session, right? And most of them are pure blood and mixed blood wizards. As for muggle-born wizards, if they are divided among the deans of the four major colleges, one person and two may not be enough. Calculating it this way, it seems that the intensity of work is indeed not that great. Professor McGonagall didn't know what Lee Kai was thinking. She urged, Kyle, we have to go to Diagon Alley to buy things quickly, otherwise you won't be able to come back before dark. Hermione added, this is what the professor said before. In order to avoid having to make an extra trip, she will take us to buy all the school supplies we need to buy, so that we can have more time to preview at home. Oh, magic must be there it's difficult, and I don't know if we can learn even one magic before school starts. Li Kai glanced at Hermione. This little girl was very cute, but she was a bit showy. She has a small mouth and always looks for opportunities to talk non-stop. Indeed, few peers can tolerate her. However, Li Kai thought what she said was very reasonable, and he should indeed prepare all the school supplies as soon as possible, because he also wanted to be exposed to magic as soon as possible so that he could try the effect of the demon's blood. I have to leave a note for Grandma Anne, otherwise she will be worried if she doesn't see me when she comes back. The journey to Diagon Alley was uneventful. What surprised Lee Kai was that Professor McGonagall did not use apparition to take them to Diagon Alley. Instead, he simply told them to take a bus to the Leaky Cauldron, and then from there enter Diagon Alley. When Mr. Granger learned that Diagon Alley could be reached by ordinary means, he suggested that he drive everyone there. Professor McGonagall did not object. Li Kai knew that this outstanding witch had grown up in the world of ordinary people. She must have done a lot of work like this over the years, and she would not be unfamiliar with vehicles like cars like many pure blood wizards. The atmosphere on the road was somewhat dull, because the Granger family seemed to be in awe of Professor McGonagall. Even though they were curious about the magical world, they did not ask Professor McGonagall about his plans. Li Kai guessed that Professor McGonagall must have revealed his superb magical skills, otherwise the Grangers would not be so reserved and would not agree to let their baby girl go to a school they had never heard of. Not long after, the group arrived at the Leaky Cauldron. Normally muggles can't see the Leaky Cauldron, but under the leadership of wizards there won't be such a problem. The Granger couple followed Professor McGonagall, feeling dazed for a while, and saw an old but not dilapidated store in front of them. It looks full of age and is out of tune with the surrounding shops. You can see through the glass that there are some customers in strange costumes sitting inside. In the opinion of the Granger family, the costumes of those guests are much weirder than Professor McGonagall, and they can better satisfy ordinary people's fantasy of wizards. 
In contrast, Li Kai acted very calmly. After all, he had expected all this. However, in order to conceal his identity as a time traveler, he still showed some curiosity. After entering the leaky cauldron, Professor McGonagall greeted the familiar wizards and led Li Kai and the Granger family to the small patio at the back without any pause, and finally stopped in front of a wall next to the trash can. Pay attention and remember what I do. You will definitely use it in the future. Professor McGonagall gave Li Kai and Hermione instructions, then took out his wand and tapped the wall tiles. Count three tiles on the trash can upwards, count two tiles across the bin, and tap the wand three times on the wall, that's it. The wall bricks rumbled, and soon along with friction and shaking, a small hole was formed, and finally the hole turned into a wide arched passage. On the other side of the arched passage is the magical world that Li Kai has been waiting for. This is an alley that is not deep, and the shops on both sides are scattered in an orderly manner, selling all kinds of strange things. Stepping into this alley, my eyes passed by all kinds of products. Li Kai thought to himself, you should be able to get a lot of collectibles here. Since the Hogwarts admission letter is considered a collectible, what about wands, robes, books, etc.? Will it also be considered a collectible? Yet it what rewards will the system give for these things? The more he thought about it, the more excited he became, and he even couldn't wait to go shopping in those shops. But considering that he couldn't find even a single magic currency on his body at this time, he had to regain his composure. Professor McGonagall led a group of people to Gringotts. This was the original plan. Although Gringotts is the only financial institution in the British wizarding world, the workload of each employee does not seem to be large, and there are fewer wizards here to handle various business than expected. Many of the goblins behind the counter were just looking at the account books that they had read countless times, or using small scales to weigh gems and gold galleons that they had weighed countless times. Anyway, in Li Kai's view, these behaviors are more like fishing than normal work. Come to think of it, fairies are also human beings, so it's not surprising that they are lazy. In front of an empty counter, Professor McGonagall said with a straight face, the gentleman and the lady next to me want to exchange muggle currency for gold galleons. Please help them deal with it. Li Kai felt that Professor McGonagall's tone was a bit cold, as if this outstanding which had no good impression of the goblins of Gringotts. The goblin behind the counter raised his head, leaned forward, and finally saw Li Kai and Hermione, who were shorter than him. Muggle currency can be exchanged for wizard currency. Five pounds is exchanged for one gold galleons. Each person is only allowed to exchange a maximum of 100 gold galleons per year. The goblin raised his eyebrows and said, So, how much do you plan to exchange? Hermione looked at her parents and Mr. Granger said, Then we will exchange it for 100 gold galleons. The goblin looked at Li Kai again, his small eyes full of Philistine. Li Kai also said without hesitation, I will also exchange it for 100 gold galleons. He probably understood why goblins restricted muggle-born wizards from exchanging gold galleons. It is obviously not difficult for a wizard to obtain pounds from ordinary people. If restrictions are relaxed and wizards are allowed to exchange pounds for gold galleons, I am afraid that no matter how many gold galleons Gringotts casts, it will not be enough. After thinking about this, Li Kai realized that if he didn't find a way to earn gold galleons as soon as possible, he would only be a poor little wizard for a long time in the future. Therefore, you must cherish the opportunity to exchange for gold galleons in Gringotts. Li Kai's parents left a lot of inheritance. He originally considered using the money to invest in companies that were relatively well-known in his previous life but were just starting out. However, he was unable to carry out related operations due to his lack of age, so he had no choice but to give up this plan. Even so, he still has enough savings for various expenses, and his future development focus will inevitably shift to the magic world, so it is necessary to exchange enough gold galleons. Unfortunately, 100 gold galleons is a bit small, and it will probably be spent soon. The goblin worked very efficiently and handed the two money bags to Mr. Li Kai and Mr. Granger in a short time. Fortunately, gold galleons are magic coins and are much lighter than ordinary gold coins. Otherwise, with Li Kai's current strength, he may not be able to carry a hundred gold galleons. The moment Jin Jilong took possession, the familiar system prompt sounded in his ears again. 
Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, Golden Galleons, times 100, and the reward, Golden Galleons, times 1000. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, Gringotts Money Bag. Are the money bags that come with galleons and Gringotts considered collectibles? Lee Kai was a little surprised, but felt secretly happy. Just a moment ago you were planning how to earn galleons, and the next second you got a large sum of galleons. Is there anything more exciting than this? The Traceless Stretch spell is also very powerful. It is a spell that only outstanding wizards can master. Among the three saviors, Hermione can only cast it in seventh grade. As for the other two, it's a question of whether they can cast this spell when they graduate. In Lee Kai's view, the Traceless Stretching spell can solve many problems and is absolutely of strategic significance. Seeing that Lee Kai and Hermione had obtained enough gold galleons, Professor McGonagall immediately led a few people to a small and old shop, Ollivander's Wand Shop. The shop's sign, even more shabby than the facade, read, Ollivander's, crafting fine wands since 382 BC. A wand shop with a history of more than 2,000 years, Lee Kai said meaningfully, the level of wand making here must be very good, right? Professor McGonagall glanced at Lee Kai and nodded. That's true. Many wizards come to London from other places just to buy a wand that suits them. All right. She actually didn't find anything. After all, the word, stick making, in English is not the, retard, in Chinese. This disadvantage does not exist at all. After walking into the wand store, Lee Kai was a little surprised. This wand store, which looked small and shabby from the outside, was surprisingly big inside. Several tall shelves were filled with densely packed boxes, which looked very neat, just like the bricks used to build a wall. As if hearing the sound of wind chimes, an old man who looked somewhat similar to Einstein slid down the track from behind the long bookshelf to the front. Aha! Professor McGonagall, long time no see. I remember it very clearly, nine and one half inches, fir wood, dragon's heart tendon, made by my father. Li Kai couldn't help but roll his eyes. This person had this problem. He always recalled the other person's wand when he saw him, regardless of whether it was his own wand or not. Professor McGonagall also seemed helpless. She said calmly, Garrick, we only met last year, and the year before that, you have to say this every year, and of course you will remember it clearly. Li Kai couldn't help but smile. It seemed that Professor McGonagall would arrange admissions for young muggle-born wizards every year, otherwise she wouldn't hear the wand masters nagging so often. Ollivander seemed a little embarrassed. He quickly glanced at Lee Kai and Hermione with his silver-gray eyes, and then asked kindly, which of them is the little wizard who needs a new wand? Or are you all? Right. Okay, I still don't know what you call me. Lee Kai and Hermione looked at each other and nodded in unison. Kalthos Lee. Hermione Jane Granger. Oh. They are all. Then who comes first? Ollivander's smile grew thicker. The wands he made were very expensive, and even though they were sold to young wizards very cheaply, this was only part of the selling price. In fact, the Ministry of Magic will also subsidize more than half of it. For every additional wand he sells, he earns a handsome income, and is naturally eager to sell more wands. Li Kai took a step back. Ladies first. Hermione glanced at Li Kai resentfully, but said nothing. The little girl seemed a little uneasy. Mrs. Granger gave Hermione a gentle pat on the shoulder to encourage her. Miss Granger, are you left-handed or right-handed? Ollivander took out a tape measure from his pocket and gestured, I need to measure the size. I'm right-handed, Mr. Ollivander, Hermione said, raising her right hand. Ollivander quickly completed his measurements before taking a wand from the shelf and handing it to Hermione. You can try waving it gently, yes, you don't need to be so careful. Hermione did as Ollivander told her, and soon it was creating a whirlwind in the room. The wandmaker thought for a moment, then gave Hermione another wand. Try this again. The moment Hermione took the second wand, a soft light lit up from the tip of the wand, making people feel that their brains suddenly became much clearer. The Grangers looked at this scene blankly, as if they did not expect that their daughter would master magical powers so quickly, in their opinion, such superficial tricks were magic. Grapevine wood and dragon heart tendon, ten and three quarter inches. Miss Granger, it has chosen you. You are a perfect match. I hope it will help you create brilliant achievements. 
Ollivander smiled with satisfaction, and then turned his gaze to Li Kai. Li Kai raised his left arm before Ollivander could ask questions. Ollivander was speechless and completed the measurement work in silence. He also took a wand and handed it to Li Kai. Hawthorne wood, unicorn hair, just 10 inches. It's not too powerful, but it's suitable for white magic. I guess you two will get along well. Oh, no. It's not suitable for you. Try another one. Before Ollivander could finish speaking, he saw sparks emerging from the tip of Li Kai's wand. Those sparks were as beautiful as fireworks and full of lethality. A spark flew to Ollivander's hair. If Professor McGonagall hadn't acted quickly, his silver hair might not have been saved. This situation forced him to change his words, and also made his next action of handing over the wand look a little cautious. Try this, made of sandalwood and phoenix feathers, about 11 inches. No, it still doesn't work. This time it was even more exaggerated. As soon as Lee Kai's hand touched the wand, electric sparks came out. Ollivander quickly snatched the wand and replaced it with another. The new wand was even worse. The moment Li Kai held it, a red lightning bolt flew past Ollivander's ear, leaving a deep hole in the opposite wall. Faced with this situation, both Ollivander and Professor McGonagall were a little surprised. Very powerful magic power. With such powerful magic power at this age, you will definitely become an outstanding wizard in the future. Professor McGonagall is a little worried. Sometimes having too powerful magic is not a good thing. He needs to spend more time learning how to control magic. Li Kai was speechless, he hadn't taken the demon's blood yet. After taking the blood of the devil, you are still scared to death. Finally, after many twists and turns, Ollivander finally selected the wand that was most suitable for Li Kai. Aha! This is it, you, the nerve of the black dragon, about 12 inches long, relatively soft and elastic. It is very powerful and can maximize your original magic power. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the perfect collection, Yu Wand, and the reward is, Grandmaster Level Wandless Spellcasting. After getting the wand, they visited Flourish and Blot's bookstore, Madame Malkin's robe shop, Il Owl shop. Li Kai and Hermione have more and more messy things on their hands, including textbooks, crucibles, moving snacks. Every time he obtains a magic item, a system prompt will sound in Li Kai's ears. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell elementary, and the reward, talent quick mastery. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collection, thousands of miraculous herbs and mushrooms, and the reward is, elementary herbology identification. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the excellent collection, crucible, and rewarding, basic alchemy. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the legendary collection, Owl Snowy Owl, and the reward, Contract Summoning Technique. The above are only some of the collection rewards Li Kai received, and he didn't have time to check more than half of them carefully. All in all, it was a fruitful day. After a day of shopping, Li Kai and the Granger family said goodbye to Professor McGonagall at the entrance of the Leaky Cauldron, and then returned home with the sunset. Kyle, you are finally back. I can't help but want to call the police. Ms. Anne heard the sound of the car and hurriedly came out to greet them. When Li Kai got out of the car, she touched his head with her skinny hands and said some words of concern nervously. Grandma, didn't I leave you a note? Didn't you see it? Li Kai said helplessly. My eyes are getting worse and worse, Ms. Anne explained. I can't see the words on the note clearly. Mr. Granger said, Ms. Anne, maybe you should go to the hospital for a checkup. I think it is necessary. Li Kai agreed, we will go to the hospital tomorrow and at least get you a pair of glasses. The elderly person's eyesight has declined significantly in recent years. At her age, it is almost impossible to completely restore her vision. She never took the initiative to complain about her physical discomfort. If it weren't for today's incident, Li Kai wouldn't have known that her eyesight had deteriorated to such an extent. In the past, she was reluctant to go to the hospital when she occasionally had a cold or fever. She always wanted to save money and leave more property for Li Kai. This time was no exception. She waved her hand and rejected Mr. Granger's proposal, not wanting to go to the hospital for any examination. Having been dependent on each other for many years, the old man obviously regards Li Kai as his grandson. Mrs. Granger and Hermione were also very concerned about Ms. Anne's health. 
They persuaded her together and finally got her to agree to go to the hospital for a checkup. Would you like to have dinner with us? Ms. Ann looked at the Granger family and said kindly, I made her Mayanese's favorite beef tenderloin with green pepper. The relationship between the two families is very good, so they often eat together. In his previous life, Likai was both a descendant of the dragon and a person who loved good food. After coming to this world, he would not treat himself badly if financial conditions allowed. So since he gained the ability to cook, he often cooks some dragon country delicacies. Over time, Ms. Ann also learned to cook dragon country delicacies. Maybe she was confused, maybe she didn't care at all, but she never asked Li Kai why he had those weird cooking skills. Once, the Grangers had to work overtime, so Hermione came to Li Kai's house for dinner. That day, Ms. Ann happened to make a plate of green pepper beef tenderloin. Hermione fell in love with this dish after eating it, and often clamored to come to Li Kai's house for dinner. In order not to bother Ms. Ann too often, Mrs. Granger also had to learn Dragon Kingdom cooking skills from Li Kai. In fact, in this era, most British people were very resistant to Dragon Country cuisine. This was related to certain religious beliefs and because they had not tasted Oriental delicacies. Fortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Granger are more open-minded, otherwise Hermione would have to come to Li Kai's house to steal some food when she was greedy. At this moment, hearing Ms. Ann say that there was beef tenderloin with green pepper, Hermione's eyes suddenly lit up like stars, and she shouted happily, I love you, Grandma Ann. Li Kai smiled slightly and asked expectantly, Grandma, do you have my favorite braised pork? Of course, how could I forget your favorite braised pork? The meal was enjoyed by both the guests and the host. After the Granger family left, Li Kai helped Ms. Ann with the housework before diving into the bedroom to take stock of today's harvest. System, I want to withdraw all rewards. Following Li Kai's order, a bunch of messy things suddenly appeared in front of him. At the same time, some mysterious information was also imprinted into his soul. Grandmaster level traceless stretching spell. Grandmaster level wandless spell casting. Elementary alchemy. Grandmaster level summoning technique. There are professional knowledge and magic spells, and talents that have no concrete form. All tangible and qualitative rewards float in front of you, while intangible and immaterial rewards are directly imprinted into the soul and body. In just a few moments, Li Kai felt like he was completely transformed. He reached out and grabbed a purple crystal bottle that exuded a dreamy luster, and thought to himself, is this the blood of the devil? I wonder if it tastes good. Immediately, he opened the crystal bottle, raised his head and swallowed the demon's blood. The demon's blood, shimmering with dreamy luster, slid down Li Kai's throat and into his stomach, and then. Then there is no more. Li Kai felt as if he had swallowed a drop of lava, and his body felt like it was burning. He felt uncomfortable for a moment, and then returned to normal. There was no abnormality, as if what he just drank was not the blood of the devil, but a drop of zinc gluconate oral solution. Li Kai couldn't help complaining, system, can't this be a fake? Are you fooling me with fakes? System, host, please rest assured that the products produced by the system must be high quality products. The blood of the devil will gradually play a role in the growth process of the host. It will accelerate the improvement of the host's magic power and completely eliminate the upper limit of the host's growth. In other words, the host's magic power will it will improve infinitely and there will never be a bottleneck. Removing the upper limit of growth. Is it so awesome? Li Kai was stunned for a moment, and then became excited. How could he not be excited? In the original book, people as powerful as Dumbledore are also bound by the upper limit of magic power. Even if Voldemort split his soul into seven parts, there is an upper limit on the magic power he can obtain. Doesn't completely eliminating the upper limit of magic power growth mean that one day we will surpass Dumbledore and Voldemort in terms of magic power? Who can resist becoming an invincible wizard? Li Kai couldn't refuse anyway, he was a little greedy, it would be great if I could get magic power that surpasses Dumbledore and Voldemort now. System. System, can you get me an attribute panel? Li Kai thought that other time travelers had attribute panels, and it seemed unreasonable if he didn't have one. We are willing to help you. The property panel has been generated. Please check it yourself. Open the properties panel. Li Kai muttered silently. Host. Kalthos Lee. Occupation. 
Quasi-wizard, junior alchemist. Talent. Quick mastery. Constitution. 5, 10 points for ordinary adults, 20 points for adult wizards, 100 points for dragons. Magic power. 5, 0 points for an ordinary adult, 20 points for an adult wizard, 100 points for a god of death. Magic spell. Grandmaster level traceless stretching spell. Skills. Elementary alchemy, grandmaster wandless spellcasting, contract summoning. Collection. Hogwarts admission notice, gold galleons, Gringotts money bag, you wand, owl snowy owl, Hogwarts first year books and tools, etc. Huh. Summoning isn't a magic spell. Lee Kai was a little surprised, but he soon felt relieved. The summoning technique rewarded by the system does not require chanting a spell, but requires using magic power to construct a contract. After signing a contract with a creature, the creature can be brought into the summoning space. Li Kai glanced at the snowy owl in the cage, and suddenly his heart moved, and he decided to try the contract summoning technique. Shui Li, don't be afraid. If you unfortunately die, I will definitely find a cemetery with good geomantic omen to bury you properly. Sydney is the name Li Kai gave this owl. It stared at Li Kai blankly, completely unaware that it had become a test subject. Li Kai carefully used magic power to construct the contract based on the knowledge in his mind. The whole process went surprisingly smoothly. He pointed at Shui Li and saw a red light sinking into Shui Li's body. Success. Li Kai felt an inexplicable connection with the owl, as if he could feel the owl's thoughts. Sydney, spread your wings. Shui Li heard the instruction and quickly spread her wings obediently. Okay, put it down. Li Kai smiled with satisfaction. You actually like eating earthworms. I'll buy some for you tomorrow. After saying that, he brought Shui Li into the summoning space with a wave of his hand. The summoning space is full of magic, and its internal environment will change according to the summoned object's wishes. This can ensure that the summoned object will not be depressed due to excessive stress in the environment. It was already very late, but Li Kai was not going to rest yet. He made himself a cup of coffee and then took out the elementary standard spell textbook. The elementary standard spell textbook is about 2 cm thick, but there are not many spells recorded. Most of the content is about the birth of the spell and how to use it. The birth process of many spells is very nonsensical. For example, the inventor of the spell, clear water like a spring, was inexplicably invented when he was traveling in the wild and drank drinking water until he died of thirst. There is also the Alaho opening spell. Its inventor found that he forgot to bring the key after he went out. He wanted to use an explosion spell to blow open the door, but he was anxious and chanted the wrong spell, and then the unlocking spell was born. Li Kai bets that the wizard who invented the lock-picking curse must have a severe speech disorder, because the pronunciation of the lock-picking curse and the explosion curse are thousands of miles apart, and even if he mispronounces the spell in a hurry, it won't be that different. Fluorescence. Li Kai was reading a book while trying to cast a spell. With the gift of quick mastery, he learned spells very quickly. Low-level spells can be mastered almost once, and slightly more difficult ones only need to be practiced a few more times. Kyle. It's already 10 o'clock, you should go to bed. Grandma Anne's voice came from outside the bedroom, you have to maintain good living habits, otherwise how can you reassure me? Okay, Li Kai responded helplessly, I'm going to bed right now. Spent a sleepless night. In the morning, Li Kai ate the breakfast carefully prepared by Grandma Anne, and then hid in the study to continue studying magic. Of course, this kind of thing must be avoided by Grandma Anne. The old lady is old and it may be difficult for her to accept such wonderful things as magic. Around 9 o'clock, Hermione from next door slipped in quietly. Kyle, Hermione whispered, have you learned even one spell? Let me tell you, I can already use the cleaning spell to slightly reduce the dirt on the glass. The little girl had a proud expression on her face, and Li Kai couldn't bear to tell the truth and hit her. The first sentence of a standard spellbook. The three elements of a spell are purpose, determination and composure. After some research before going to bed, Li Kai discovered that magic in this world requires strong emotional support, among which self-confidence is particularly important. If the caster is not confident enough, it may be easier for the spell to fail. Judging from the performance of everyone in the original work, Ronald, Neville and other underperforming players, in addition to having poor talent, 
are more or less lacking in self-confidence, which probably also greatly affects the success rate of the spell. Well, you're awesome. Li Kai smiled gently. I haven't learned a single spell yet. It seems that I will have to work harder in the next period of time. In order not to affect Hermione's confidence, Li Kai told a white lie. Hermione smiled and said, I believe you can do it, come on. In the next few days, Li Kai gradually showed his magical talent, which appropriately put some pressure on Hermione. He believed that this would be very beneficial to the future Hogwarts master. In the afternoon of this day, Li Kai finally learned all the spells recorded in the elementary standard spell textbook. He secretly thought, it seems it's time to go to Diagon Alley again. The vacation is still long and he doesn't intend to waste time. No one stipulates that first-year wizards are not allowed to learn advanced magic. Therefore, Li Kai plans to buy all the spell books he can buy and learn all the magic he can learn. Senior textbooks and wizarding extracurricular readings should also be considered collectibles. Li Kai is looking forward to what kind of rewards the system will give. He took the bus alone and came to the leaky cauldron again. As soon as he entered the door, he saw a tall figure leading a thin little boy to greet everyone. The patrons at the bar scrambled to shake the boy's hand, each introducing themselves. I'm Cordori, Mr. Potter. I can't believe I finally meet you. What an honor, Mr. Potter, what an honor. I've been looking forward to shaking your hand for a long time, my heart is pounding. Many people were excited and incoherent, and Lee Kai's eyes were also shining. This is the future savior, he must have a lot to collect. If I regard his skull as a collection, I can't think like that. He is just a poor child. At least while he is alive, I can't have such thoughts. Maybe I should get his glasses first I got the savior's glasses, they should be of great collection value, right? You can take a look at the others. Li Kai felt very ashamed and blamed himself. He turned his eyes to Hagrid aside, thinking secretly, the big man seems to have many treasures at home, it seems necessary to have a good relationship with him. The bar owner Tom suddenly noticed Li Kai and said in surprise, another little wizard. Are you here alone? I seem to have seen you before. Everyone's eyes were attracted, including Hagrid and little Harry. Mr. Tom, you have a really good memory. Li Kai said calmly, my name is Kalthos Lee, and I came here with Professor McGonagall a few days ago. Oh, I remembered. There was a little girl who came with you at that time. She didn't come today. Tom said excitedly, you came at the right time. Come and see who this is. He pulled Li Kai to Harry and introduced with a smile, this is the boy who lived, Harry Potter. I believe you will become very good friends. By the way, what is your name? Kalthos Lee. Lee Kai was a little helpless. This man really couldn't be praised. He just said he had a good memory. Mr. Lee, Harry asked, are you also a new student at Hogwarts? Lee Kai nodded. Yes, you can call me Kyle, Harry. This was the first time for Harry to see such a friendly peer, and he couldn't help but be moved deep inside. He couldn't help but smile sincerely on his face, completely unaware that the man in front of him had planned to collect his skull just a moment ago. At this time, a pale young man came over. He looked very nervous and one eye was still twitching. Professor Quirrell. Hagrid said to Harry with a smile. Harry, Professor Quirrell is one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Professor Quirrell was stammering as he talked to Harry, completely ignoring Lee Kai beside him. Worried about attracting Voldemort's attention, Li Kai did not pay too much attention to Professor Quirrell. Now Voldemort is just a ghost residing in someone else's body. He has nothing to collect, and there is no point in provoking him. After some wrangling, Hagrid finally took Li Kai and Harry to get rid of everyone's entanglement. The three of them passed through the patio behind the bar and arrived at Diagon Alley. After entering Diagon Alley, Li Kai said goodbye to Harry and Hagrid. Before leaving, Harry looked at Li Kai eagerly, with particularly reluctant eyes. Although they had only been in contact for a short time, Harry felt the warmth of friendship from Li Kai, which was exactly what he had longed for since he was a child. Hagrid patted Harry on the shoulder and comforted him, you can meet when school starts. This guy is really good. Li Kai did not go directly to Flourishes and Blot's bookstore, but walked around first. There are many interesting shops in Diagon Alley. Li Kai first went to the Florin cold drink shop to buy an ice cream, 
and then went to the Jumping Magic Joke Shop to buy a few prank products, but none of them triggered system rewards. When passing by the Quidditch Boutique, he suddenly stopped in his tracks. There is no doubt that the broomstick must also be considered a collectible. However, flying broomsticks are basically relatively expensive. Li Kai only has more than a thousand gold galleons in his pocket now. How much does a broom cost in the original book? The firebolt seems to cost 500 gold galleons, but it hasn't been put on the market yet. The brooms here shouldn't be that expensive, right? Thinking of this, Li Kai made up his mind to spend a lot of money to buy a broom. He gently opened the glass door and walked into the Quidditch boutique. Welcome. A fat middle-aged wizard came over from behind the counter, Sir, what are you going to buy? The clerk was smiling and did not neglect Li Kai just because he was a child. I want to buy a broom. Can you recommend one for me? The clerk said with a smile. If you ask me to recommend, then I definitely recommend you to buy the latest Nimbus 2000. It is definitely the best flying broomstick this year. Of course, you are still young, and it is suitable for a beginner like you. It may be too fast for scholars, and some are difficult to control. Maybe you can buy a sweeping seven stars as a practice tool first. It is safe, reliable and fast, and is very suitable for little wizards. Oh, this is just my little one suggestions, it's up to you to decide how to choose. Li Kai asked again, what about the selling prices of these two products? The Nimbus 2000 costs 500 gold galleons, while the 7 star sweep only costs 200 gold galleons. The clerk still kept smiling. So expensive. Li Kai was a little surprised. He had to know that the Firebolt, which was launched two years later, only cost 500 gold galleons. But when he thought about it carefully, he felt that this was normal. For some well-known mobile phone flagship products in the past, each generation has better performance than the previous generation, but there was not much difference in price when it was first launched. The Nimbus 2000 may indeed be inferior to the Firebolt in terms of performance, but this does not affect the merchants setting the same price for them, because at this time when the Firebolt was not on the market, consumers had no choice. Aha! The clerk smiled and pointed at Nimbus 2000. It's expensive for a reason. It's the fastest broomstick. No Quidditch player doesn't like it. Li Kai thought for a while and said, give me a handful of sweeping seven stars first. He has decided to buy one broomstick from all series, but he only has more than a thousand gold galleons. It is impossible to spend all his wealth on buying a flying broomstick, so he can only buy one first. For a collector, different versions of similar items all have collection value, the only difference is the size of the collection value. The clerk looked at Li Kai in surprise. He obviously didn't expect the little wizard in front of him to be so straightforward. He spent the 200 gold galleons as he pleased without blinking an eye. This sweeping seven stars is yours. Thank you for your patronage. I wish you a happy life. Li Kai took what the clerk handed over, wrapped it tightly and swept the seven stars, then he paid and left happily. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the excellent collection, sweeping seven stars, and the reward, elementary flying thaumaturgy. Elementary flying magic. Use magic power to turn into mist to lift your body and fly at extremely fast speeds. Huh. This flying magic can actually fly without a broom. Li Kai was surprised. He thought that collecting brooms would reward broom driving skills, but he didn't expect that the actual rewards were more powerful than he expected. This is a physical flight spell. You can fly without a broom, in the original books only Voldemort and Snape can do it. Now there is one more, and it is a young wizard who is about to enter Hogwarts. Flying thaumaturgy does not require chanting spells or using any tools. It only requires mobilizing magic power in a specific way to form a magic mist that isolates gravity and resistance, and then you can fly however you want. The principle is very complicated and there is no need to explain it too clearly. Li Kai couldn't wait to experience the joy of flying, but the current conditions obviously did not allow him to be arrogant, so he could only suppress his excitement and get down to business. Should I also buy Nimbus 2000? If I buy another broom, will there be another way to fly? Or should I upgrade my flying thaumaturgy? Either way is very exciting, but Li Kai thought about it carefully and thought that we should solve the problem first, and then consider the good and bad issues. If you already possess the flying thaumaturgy, even if you don't buy a broomstick, 
you can still improve the level of the flying thaumaturgy through exercise. So now it's more important to get more collectibles as quickly as possible so you can get more abilities. So, Li Kai walked towards Flourishes and Blot's bookstore as planned. There were still many customers in Flourish and Blot's bookstore, and coincidentally, Li Kai met Harry Potter and Hagrid here again. Kyle. We meet again. Harry blinked, his emerald green eyes full of surprise, I thought you had left. He had just met a little wizard with platinum blonde hair in the robe shop, and that little wizard put him in a bad mood. But now, his mood is getting better again. There are many interesting shops in Diagon Alley. I went shopping everywhere. Li Kai smiled and said, I was in a hurry when I came last time, but I can have fun this time. Harry had already bought the books he needed for this semester and was about to go to the drugstore to buy cauldrons and other items. There was no longer a queue in front of her, so the clerk at Flourish Blossom Bookstore took the initiative to ask Li Kai what he wanted. I need all the textbooks from the 2nd to 7th grades of Hogwarts, Li Kai said politely, if there are other books recording magic spells, please help me find them. Hearing this, many people couldn't help but turn to look at Li Kai. The clerk said in surprise, sir, do you know how thick those books are? Are you sure you want them all? Li Kai nodded, yes, I'm sure. The textbooks at Hogwarts are not expensive. A standard spell book only costs 1 gold galleons, and the maximum textbooks for each grade are no more than 30 gold galleons. Oh, it might be more expensive if you buy it next year, because Lockhart's book is more expensive than ordinary textbooks. Okay, please wait a moment. The clerk took a deep look at Lee Kai and said, I'll prepare it for you right away. Harry couldn't help but ask, Kyle, why did you buy so many books? It's nothing, I just can't wait to learn more magic. Li Kai spread his hands, anyway, I have to buy those textbooks in the future. You're so studious. Harry was a little ashamed. The first time he got the textbook, he just wanted to use the magic spells recorded in the book to fix Cousin Dudley. He heard Hagrid say that wizards can't use magic spells on ordinary people casually. The enthusiasm for the curse has also been greatly reduced. Hagrid also praised. You are indeed a studious child. There are not many little wizards like you. You will definitely become a great wizard like Dumbledore in the future. Thank you for the compliment. Li Kai looked up at Hagrid and saw that the giant was looking at him with a smile, so he returned a kind smile. Harry, Hagrid patted Harry on the shoulder, we should go buy you a wand. It's getting late. See you at the start of school, Kyle. Goodbye, good boy. Hagrid greeted Harry and walked out of Flourishes and Blot's bookstore. Li Kai also got the books sorted by the clerk, and every one of them was what he needed. In addition to all Hogwarts textbooks for grades 2 to 7, there are also some extracurricular books recording white magic. It is impossible to buy books on the dark arts at Flourish and Blot's because the Ministry of Magic frequently inspects them. If you want to read books about dark magic, there is apparently only one way, and that is to go to the restricted section of the Hogwarts library. Those pure blood families also have some forbidden books in their collections, but they will definitely hide them tightly and not let outsiders know. Sir, how do you plan to take these books away? The clerk pointed to several stacks of books as tall as one person, do you need us to send someone to deliver them to your home? Li Kai took out a bag from his pocket, shook it, and said with a smile, just put it in here. This pocket is only about the size of a palm, but it can hold a lot of things under the influence of the seamless stretch charm. Although Li Kai knows the master level traceless stretching spell, this bag is not his work, but bought when he passed by a luggage store. There are many confusing laws in the wizarding world, one of which stipulates that the invisible stretch spell cannot be used for private purposes, but can only be used for the production of individual items approved by the relevant Ministry of Magic Department. The pocket in Li Kai's hand is an individual item approved by the relevant Ministry of Magic Department. It has a company's trademark on it. Its price is as high as 50 gold galleons. Compared with the production cost, this price is indeed extremely expensive. To put it bluntly, what this thing sells is the trademark. Its original space was not large, but it was expanded by Li Kai using a master level traceless stretching spell, and now it can almost fit a house. Some laws may not be created because breaking the law will cause serious consequences, but simply to increase taxes. 
The space equipment produced by the traceless stretching spell is one of the products that can increase tax revenue. Because whether it is manufactured privately or by a legal company, it will provide convenience for some wizards who hide contraband. The reason why a harmful commodity can continue to exist must be because it can create greater benefits. When the clerk saw the space bag in Li Kai's hand, he already concluded that the child in front of him must be the young master of an ancient, pure blood family, so he stopped asking any more questions and simply packed up all the books. Cheng Wei, I will charge you a total of 302 gold galleons, and the change has been wiped off for you. Welcome to visit next time. Li Kai took the space bag and a series of system prompts suddenly sounded in his mind. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell level 2 inches and the reward, advanced sleeping spell. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell level 3, and the reward, advanced petrification spell. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell level 4 inches and the reward, advanced iron armor spell. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell level 5 inches and the reward, advanced occlumency. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell level 6 inches and the reward, advanced life killing spell. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collectible, standard spell level 7 inches and the reward, advanced apparition. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collection, forgotten magic and spells, and the reward, advanced summoning stone peer. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the rare collection, 18th century spell selection, and the reward, advanced patron saint spell. Six standard spell textbooks allowed Li Kai to master six spells instantly. There are also other miscellaneous spell books, each of which also corresponds to a spell reward. Compared with the first time, the rewards obtained this time were slightly worse. After all, when I received the elementary standard spell textbook before, the reward was to quickly master the talent. In Li Kai's view, spells can be learned at any time, but talent is not so easy to obtain. In addition to the spell itself, the system also comes with some additional magic powers. Although Li Kai mastered those magic spells in just a moment, the process of learning those magic spells was not skipped. The system is equivalent to allowing Li Kai to practice for countless years before mastering those magic spells to an advanced level in an instant. In the process of practicing magic spells, the wizard's magic power will slowly increase. Li Kai opened the attribute panel and took a look, only to see that his magic power had increased from 7 points to 18 points, only 2 points short of reaching the standard of an adult wizard. After leaving Flourish and Blot's bookstore, Li Kai thought to himself, how about a trip to Nocturne Alley? As the largest black market in the wizarding world, Nocturne Alley must have many good things worth collecting. Previously, Li Kai was worried about his lack of strength and did not dare to go to Nocturne Alley alone. But now, he has mastered spells that are stronger than most adult wizards, and he has the power to protect himself. Not going to Nocturne Alley for a walk seems like a waste of the powerful functions of the system. As for how to get to Nocturne Alley, Professor McGonagall also said it before, but that was to remind Li Kai and Hermione not to enter Nocturne Alley by mistake. Obviously, Li Kai did not take Professor McGonagall's reminder to heart. After making a decision in his mind, he turned and walked towards Nocturne Alley. He didn't make any cover up, because no one stipulated that little wizards could not enter Nocturne Alley. Even if a little wizard who is not in school enters Nocturne Alley, people will only think that he entered Nocturne Alley by mistake. Who would think that a little wizard goes to Nocturne Alley to do bad things? On the contrary, if he is secretive, it will arouse suspicion once he is found out. The magic world is full of messy detection magic. A mere cloak or mask may not be able to block those detection magics. The moment he entered Nocturne Alley, Li Kai seemed to have entered another world. Everything here looks shabby, completely different from Diagon Alley. There are organs and corpses of magical creatures everywhere, as well as all kinds of old goods with unknown uses. I met many wizards along the way, and they all looked at Li Kai with strange eyes. There were suspicions, covetousness, cruelty, and covetousness in their eyes, but no one took action against him. There is also a certain order in Nocturne Alley, and few dark wizards mess around here. Those dark wizards who look very vicious may actually be very poor. 
They do not have strong magical power, and most of them just look scary. As long as the person being targeted does not show cowardice, they will not dare to act rashly. After all, the wizarding world is also a world of the weak and the strong. If you are really powerful, you won't be like a rat in the ditch, hanging out in a shady place like Nocturne Alley. However, it cannot be said that Nocturne Alley is completely without danger. Because in addition to dark wizards, some werewolves and vampires will appear here from time to time. These dark creatures are not as cautious as dark wizards. They can do anything when they go crazy. Of course, there are some bad guys who do bad things without going crazy. Lee Kai met such a blind vampire. As soon as he walked out of a shop, he was stopped by a pale man. There was a bloodthirsty light in this man's eyes. He seemed to have not tasted blood for a long time, and he looked a little out of control. Hiss. It tastes so sweet, your blood must taste delicious. Get out. Lee Kai didn't even use his staff, he just cast a wandless sleeping spell, fall down. The vampire was instantly knocked away and then fell to the ground unconscious. All nearby wizards who saw this scene couldn't help but gasp. Merlin's underwear. Casting spells without a wand. At such a young age, he can actually cast spells without a wand. Is this child the reincarnation of Merlin? Thanks for watching.